Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to switch modes on your extension controller. Now, this will only work on the Alpha controller, on the Emulator Edition, and on the Emulator Edition Plus. Um, that's it. So, what it is, is there's three modes built in here. Now, these ship defaulted to keyboard mode, and it's already pre-configured for MAME on your PC. So, if you're running MAME on a PC, everything is already good to go. Just plug it in, and you're ready to go. But if you want to run, use this controller on like a Raspberry Pi for RetroPie and stuff like that, then these other two modes are a huge benefit and highly suggested. Um, the other modes are you have your keyboard mode, you have your D input, which will recognize as two game pads, and then you also have your X input, which will be recognized as two Xbox controllers. That is good for Steam games and some other PC games and that such. Um, but D input is highly recommended for using in the RetroPie, and the reason being is, is everything is already pre-configured for that. Um, there's going to be another video on how to map your controls, and that'll uh, get you set up in Raspberry Pi and RetroPie, so you won't have to do anything other than plug it in and go. Now I've got this on my workbench PC, just so I can show you in Notepad and then also in MAME how it's going to show up. But um, this can be done also plugged into a Raspberry Pi or basically anything that gives it power. And it is super simple to do. So it's already in keyboard mode. And so now what we're going to do is, well, let me show you it's already in keyboard mode. So I got a notepad up. And then here is ASQWS. Okay. So that's keyboard mode. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to D input. And then what you want to do is player one start. And this is your player one action button. So button one, two, and three. So hold down player one start and then hold down player one button two. Now you need to hold these for about 10 to 15 seconds. And here it just disconnected and then it reconnected. So now this board is in D input. While you're in D input, your trackball will still work. It's on the screen. Trackball will still work. But now as we hit the buttons, nothing's gonna come up in notepad because it is now registered as a gamepad. And I'm gonna show you in MAME that this is now in D-pad mode. All right, so here we are in MAME, and I just went into the configure controls for this ROM. And as you can tell, they're already configured for keyboard inputs. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch them to show you that this is now in D input. So, player one up. Joy hat switch one. So then we can go down here, show you some, some buttons here. Do this. Joy button zero. So they're gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then so on up here. So now you can configure everything showing up as a D-pad. Now I'm gonna exit, and then we're gonna switch it to um, X input. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to switch it to X input. It's going to be the same way. Hold down the start button, then hold down action button 3. 10 to 15 seconds. Now, this controller is configured as two Xbox 360 controllers. Now, in your PC, it can be recognized as the Xbox controllers, but I'm going to show you once again in MAME uh, what it's going to come up as. Alright, so here we are back in MAME in the uh, configure controls. So here we are, player one up. See now it comes up as Joy 1 D pad up. And then down here on the punches, show you what a button will show up as Joy 1A. So now it's an Xbox 360 X input, whatever you want to call it. And then I'll also show you how that it uh, shows up on the uh, PC as well. Alright, so here we are on the PC. And it shows, see, it's showing up as an Xbox 360 controller. Now, we're going to switch this back to keyboard mode. It's fairly simple as well. Button 1 is keyboard mode. So you hold down the player 1 start, button 1. 10 to 15 seconds.
the board will reset. And then we are back into keyboard mode. Now, well, keyboard functions. So that's it. So button one is keyboard mode, button two is D input, button three is X input. The way you switch modes, hold down the start button, hold down the corresponding button that you want to switch to for 10 to 15 seconds. That'll switch the modes and you can switch back and forth easily. Like I said, this can be done on a PC. It can also be done on the Raspberry Pi or it can be done on anything that just powers the board itself. Um, that should be it, guys. Have fun.